how do we get our first customers? I know you have some specific stories of your first customers and doing jobs for um, not a lot of money in order to kind of leverage some things. So can you kind of speak to us about that? I get questions like this all the time where they reach out and they say, uh, it's always, Chris, I'm going all in. I quit my job or I got fired from my job and now it's time for me to go all in. And, uh, and so that is a big mistake. And because what happens is, is people don't have a realistic expectation of what building a business looks like. And a large part of that business is the brand behind it. And so what I did was I utilized my full-time job. And since I didn't have a lot of experience when I first started, uh, I didn't have any experience when I started, but you know, I definitely didn't uh, have that much experience. So what I did was, is I, I went to these property owners. I essentially marketed myself as a reputable business. And I said, I'm a company that's in this area and uh, we like to do community outreach and we would like to paint this parking lot for you for free. If you're looking to level up and cash in on some big ticket customers, then consider checking out the How to Stripe marketing pack where people like Garrett that got $18,000 worth of work off of what he learned from the training said, it's all good, bro. No worries. I've already made 18K this off season in the past month from using your marketing videos. I'm more than satisfied. Or like John that made 15K from the training, he said, I've landed over $15,000 on two jobs in less than a week using the marketing technique you teach in your online course. I'm waiting to hear back from four more potential customers who got bids. I can't believe it. By far the cheapest, easiest, and best results I've got from advertising for my company. Thanks for making the course available. Or like Jamie that landed a $34,000 school district. He said, I'm so happy. Just got confirmed I landed a $36,000 school job. I'm so happy. Seven schools in total starting sometime next week. And right now we're doing a discount for the marketing pack. So if you send me a text message or an email letting me know that you've seen this video and want access to the marketing pack, we can get it to you. That way you can start leveling up and landing bigger customers. All right, let's get back to the video. And it could just be small jobs. I mean, it doesn't have to be large jobs. I mean, we did big jobs too for free. I mean, we did a 200 line parking lot, 12 access aisles, 12 handicap symbols, fire lane, all that. We did all that for free. What happened was, is I started paying for my experience. And at first it's, it kind of gets difficult, but what happened was, is as I was paying for my experience and I was doing these jobs for free, all of the people that I was working for, they started leaving me Google reviews. As a result of those Google reviews, my reputation on Google began to compound. And then I spent the first probably six months just accumulating Google reviews and really essentially taking a loss. I would pay for the paint, I would do the job, and they would give me a review. But I, I didn't really become profitable until about my sixth month in business. And then by then, all of my business just came from Google. So it's just like, after we dedicated that time to build the brand, accumulate the Google reviews, we just absolutely blew up on Google. And now we've got the most reviews in the state. I mean, I think we're tied like with number three, just because of doing things like that in the very, very beginning, which was building a brand. And that is why most people fail is because they don't take the time to build a brand and they're just solely focused on how much money they can accumulate. So, Absolutely. So this is a great way for us to segue into how you were able to kind of quit your nine to five job and do this full time. So Chris, just to give people context, you were fronting all the money for the paint uh, whenever you're doing these jobs for free, right? I, I say about 10 to 15 and which a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people might not be able to afford that in the beginning, but I didn't do any market research when I first started my business. I didn't look on Google. I didn't see how many competitors I had. I didn't see any of that. And so this is how I know that guys can succeed in a short amount of time if they take the actionable steps to do things the right way. Because I'm competing against 30 other companies and I think three other businesses, it might be two or three, set up their GMBs that I checked the other day. So now it's 30 plus myself and two more. That's 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 33 businesses in my immediate area that do the same service as I do. 
Um, but they don't have as high as a five-star rating on Google that I do. So though I've been in business for a shorter amount of time, a lot of these larger contracts are starting to call us because the social proof on Google is a lot higher than maybe a competitor that's been in business for 20 years. And that is the key. And so we, we probably did, I say about 10 jobs for free, uh, 10 jobs and it, it cost in the paint. And it, it was, uh, I did have to take a hit and a loss, but uh, it was totally worth it. And if I had, if I had a chance to do it over, I would do it the same exact way over again, because what it did was, is allow me to leverage my social proof on Google. And now we get some really large contracts as a result of it. And so you recently had an experience where you, uh, I mean, you have a deal with Sonic where you do a bunch of their franchises, but you re recently had an experience where you went out and painted one of these Sonics and it wasn't a part of the franchise, Chris. So you did another free um, striping job, which actually led to a potential for more um, contracts. Can you kind of speak to that a little bit and tell us that story? If you guys already got your business up and running, but you still don't have a customer contract put in place, that can be very dangerous. That's why we've got a three-part legal pack that includes a customer contract, change order, as well as a certificate of completion. And you can have access to these documents that I paid an attorney a substantial amount of money for a fraction of the cost. If you want access to the legal pack for 50% off, then all you have to do is send me an email or a text message letting me know that you've seen this in the video and we'll give you that discount. That way you can be prepared and protected in the case of any problems that may arise. Let's get back to the video. I think they have 11 locations in the state. I think they may have close to 20 uh, in the surrounding states that we're not able to get to, but went and did a job last night and I was dreading on doing it because it was a lot of striping. And so long story short, I was just like, okay, I need to buckle down. I need to go get it done. The season's closing. We ended up doing the job. Uh, but before that, when I first got there, I called somebody and I was like, Hey, will you leave the lights on for us? We're going to be striping the parking lot tonight. Um, you know, and they were like, yeah, no problem. We'll leave the lights on. And then, so we striped the parking lot and ran out of paint. I didn't bring enough paint. So I woke up yesterday morning, somebody gave me a call and they said, uh, they said, Hey, were you the one that came and painted our parking lot last night? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, well, who authorized you to do that? And I was like, well, uh, the franchise, you know, I named the franchise that I, we do work for. And then they told me, they said, man, you got the wrong franchise, dude. We're not even a part of them. And I just like, I just, I was kind of shocked for a minute. I thought he was fixing to like tear into me, dude. I, I was kind of worried about it. But then he said, We've got 12 locations. The striping looks great. Will you please give us a quote on all of our properties? And they wanted to be pressure washed too. So we're really going to work out something where we can do their dumpster pads and then their uh, outside table and chair areas and then stripe for them too. So that's going to be pretty good. We'll try to lock them in every year. So Beautiful. So with regards to getting your first customers, Chris's way is the free way. Go do jobs for free get reviews, leverage those reviews for better Google rankings, and then you'll start getting some of that organics, uh, organic search on, on Google, as well as just building a good name for yourself within the community. I think that's beautiful. It kind of, it kind of sheds light on that whole, you know, mindset of, you know, what is it? Uh, fake it until you make it, if you will. So Chris kind of leveraged himself as the biggest guy in his, in his city until he ultimately became that. Um, so I think that that's beautiful. With regards to getting customers, though, Chris, um, other than Google, would you say that that's probably the main driver of customers at this point within your business? That is the main driver, uh, most definitely. At first, I had to be very innovative in how I acquired customers. I had to, uh, I had to do several things to accumulate business. In the beginning, did a lot of cold calling, a lot of emails, um, and it's it's definitely an acquired skill. I mean, selling jobs is an acquired skill. I mean. Some people say it's not about selling, but it is most definitely about selling because if you cannot sell yourself and market yourself as a, um, as a resource that's av available and uh, valuable to the customer, then you're not you're not going to get much business at all. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do to get customers, and one of the wonderful things about that is we actually cover that in the course. That's one of the ways that I leveraged all of my uh, business in the very very beginning that helped me get to where we are now as a business. We teach all of that stuff in the training course and uh, you can bypass and, and guys, listen, this is so very important. A lot of people worry about oversaturation. Is there a lot of people? Am I competing against a lot of people? 
we teach you proven strategies within this training course to help you bypass that learning curve, number one, and to help you get customers, number two. That way you can be uh, the the uh, best and most profitable business in your area. And so that's why we're excited about it is because we teach you how to strike, but man, we also teach you how to get customers with 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 what I did in the very, very beginning that helps you and still helps me today. Right. And one of the beautiful things is, is uh, Chris actually tested a lot of these. So a lot of these, you know, uh, forms of getting customers work for him. He also had some students early on that use some of these methods as well that ended up, there was one guy that did over six figures. Another guy did over $300,000 in a year uh, with some of these methods. So definitely check it out first link in the comment section description within the how to stripe course. You guys are going to get uh, the marketing section as well, where Chris goes in depth on a bunch of other ways that uh, you guys can acquire um, customers, even like how he set up his GMB, all the, all the different things that he does with his GMB, as well as, like you said, cold calls, emails, where he's getting some of this information from and kind of how he structures that, you know, cause like you could obviously, you know, run your head through a wall, you know, but you might as well watch how it was done first. You know, I know that's probably a bad analogy. Yeah. But, uh, well, no, it's, it's good. It's good. But, but that man, I'm telling you, like I deal with it, Justin, I deal with it all the time, man. These people call me and they're like, Chris, I bought this machine. I spent six grand. I, 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 I bought, I bought a training course. I spent six grand. Um, I, I went through all these steps and now I'm struggling and I can't get customers. I don't know what to do. That's one of the, the great things about our training course that is so much different, be, different between other people's is because we teach you and give you the resources of how to get customers. So not only are you going to start, right? You're going to, you're going to beat the learning curve. You're going to get eight hours of training. You're going to do all this stuff. That's going to help you advance yourself and position yourself moving forward. But there are digital assets contained within the course that none of your competitors are using right now. Could you imagine having a competitive advantage and access to uh, marketing uh, assets that not one of your competitors are using right now in the industry right around you? I mean, that's a way for you to differentiate yourself and then separate yourself apart from your competition and then offer resources that no one else is using in your area right now. Of course, as the course sells and as more people purchase into it, I mean, the 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 material in there is going to be spread out. But it's I'm excited about it. I really am. That's one of my favorite things is, is Chris actually has like a whole strategy for how he kind of approaches the um, estimate and sending that over. And he actually sends over some other goodies for the people that are going to be opening it to kind of differentiate himself from the competition. So all that's within the course. Uh, but let's kind of take a shift, Chris. I, I want to hear about what was the biggest job that you've ever done? Um, what did it look like? How much was it? And can you kind of tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. So the biggest job we've ever done, it was about... 1900 linear feet of fire lane curbing uh we actually got a call to do some asphalt patching uh and at the time we didn't offer any services other than striping so we didn't offer seal coating or anything like that yet like we just did striping and so we got i got a call from this guy and i didn't want to immediately tell him no because i was like well let me see how i can sell him on the striping potentially so we get there and then sure enough, we're walking the property and he's t talking to me about the patching, but I'm looking at the striping. And so this is why it's important to understand your uh, uh, rules and regulations uh, in regard to the code. Because where I live at, if the fire lane curbing does not have stenciled fire lane, no parking every 30 foot, then that's a code violation and could result in potential litigation against the property owner, especially if something bad happened. So when I was walking the area with the property owner, uh, I pointed out to him that, hey, your fire lane curbing is out of code. And if something did happen and the right person with uh, and then the wrong person with the right knowledge actually found out about this, then you could get in serious trouble. And so long story short, as a result of addressing those pain points, they put the pothole project on pause and then they wanted to allocate that money to us so that we could do the striping and fix the fire lane curbing. And I think we went out there. I took the team out there. We took two machines. Uh, one of them had a malfunction. So with one machine in about seven hours, we were able to do 1900 linear feet of curbing. And then we made like five grand. I think it was like just over $5,000 in about seven hours. And so this is achievable. I mean, especially like if you're just starting out, like this is this is, this is possible um, and it could really, really change your financial uh, situation for sure.
Man, that's beautiful. Uh, I think you actually, I mean, so five grand was probably your biggest job that you did in a day. And to yeah. have that knowledge of something that was out of code and to use that as leverage to create a pain point for the customer in the event that something were to happen right there. And as you mentioned before, you're not a striping company. You are a sales team, essentially. You're a marketing company that does parking lot striping and focuses on sales. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know sales, if you don't know marketing, you can pack it up. And that's what you were talking about earlier, all these guys spending all this money and then being like, I can't get any customers. Uh, so 5K in one day, that's a huge job. I know you also recently did a, um, what was it, a parking garage? Can you kind of speak to that? I think that, wasn't that ticket was like over 10K or something? Yeah, it was, uh, it was just right, right under 13, right under 13. It took us about two days to do it. Um, we landed that off. We landed that off of Google. I mean, we landed that job off of Google. I mean, one of the things whenever people are reaching out to you after you develop that social proof, one of the first questions you need to ask is, "How did you hear about us?" Because when you ask, "How did you hear about us?" it allows you to double down on that aspect and that avenue wherever it is that they're coming from. And then uh, it was like 13k, and we did it in two days, uh, three days. I'm sorry, because it was a three-story garage, so we had to go back at three different mobilizations. So. Yeah, we did that in about three days, uh, about right under 13K. And uh, it was beautiful. I mean, it was it was very beautiful. And then when I, you know, that's how it was whenever I started. I mean, I, I was working. I was the I was the uh, $10 an hour guy. Like I was the guy working two jobs for $10 an hour. I was the guy that was like working nonstop, making the smallest amount of money. And so whenever I just took that work ethic and then shifted it into building this, it allowed me to grow exponentially. So, Okay, beautiful. But huge job, man. Obviously, uh, some good money as well. That whole, I know that whole job had a few issues on it that we can we can talk a little bit about later. 